When we talk about iconic scenes, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Usually it's something flashy and big, like the Mustafar battle in Revenge of the Sith, or a T-Rex fighting Velociraptors in Jurassic Park. But you don't need a massive budget and crazy sci-fi concept to create iconic scenes. Scenes that are stripped back and simple can be just as impactful if done correctly. Sicario is a great example of a film with bare-bone, raw, iconic scenes that pack a punch. In this video, we will explore what Sicario can teach us about creating memorable scenes and set pieces. And if you're struggling to write your great screenplay, click the link below to get direct one-on-one -on -one help from top development. Let's begin. First, let's do a quick summary of how concepts and set pieces are created. A story's concept is created by externalizing the philosophical conflict, which is the two meaningful value systems that are at odds in the story. One of the common misconceptions about philosophical conflict is that it is too abstract to bring it into a screenplay. Some might say, philosophical conflict is great if you just want to have your characters standing around giving grand monologues, but I'm trying to write an action movie. But this is incorrect. A story's philosophical conflict and what you see on screen are the same thing, not separate. Every action, every line of dialogue, and the reason the characters exist in the first place are all based on the philosophical conflict in the story. This is because any action that a character takes is a reflection of what they believe. Your concept is the outer world and the philosophical conflict is the inner world of your story. In order to create a concept, you first take your two philosophical ideas that are in conflict. In Sicario's case, the two beliefs are idealism, also known as the rule of law, you must fight evil by following the rule of law and maintaining your morality, and pragmatism, or lawlessness, the ends justify the means when you are fighting an evil that follows no moral code. In order to create Sicario's concept, we can take these two ideas and externalize them into the story world by creating two very distinct and seemingly incompatible external elements. Oftentimes, this follows the pattern of underdog character versus dominant world. Sicario does this well. The underdog character is the law-abiding FBI agent our protagonist, Kate, versus the dominant world, which is the lawless, cartel-run Mexico. Combining these two ideas into a logline, we create the concept. When a law-abiding FBI agent discovers she's been brought on an illegal extraction mission in Mexico, she must make a choice between operating within the law and taking down the Mexican cartel. Now, what are the set pieces? Set pieces take the big concept and use it to create individual scenes and settings that can explore the concept in a unique, memorable way. Every set piece has one unique external element from each part of the concept and combines them in a unique way. This is how you can create memorable scene after memorable scene. Let's go to Sicario for examples. First, the inciting incident set piece. Oftentimes, a set piece can serve as an inciting incident. This is because an inciting incident should fit into the formula we just created above. Ask yourself, what is an inciting incident? In simple terms, an inciting incident is the scene that throws your protagonist into the adventure of your story. The inciting incident usually hints that we're not in Kansas anymore. When you build your inciting incident set piece with our concept formula, this becomes easy. Our protagonist, who lives in the world of their beliefs, where everything is in order, gets thrown into a world that is philosophically opposite to what they're used to. In Sicario, the inciting incident is the raid at the beginning of the film. Everything's normal at first. We see Kate in her natural habitat. She's the leader of an FBI anti-kidnapping team. Everyone's following a set protocol and they're moving as a unified unit. They ambush the house, arrest a few guys, and narrowly avoid getting killed. But when things really kick into gear is when they discover the dead bodies hidden in the walls. This is new. As they're getting forensics on the bodies and excavating their discovery, the garage explodes and injures multiple officers. This is very new. So let's return to our set piece formula. We take two externalized objects from our concept that are based on each belief and combine them. In this case, the idealism or lawful element is the FBI agents raiding a home in Arizona. On the other side, the pragmatism or lawless element 
is the dead bodies in the walls and a bomb rigged for the cops. If what they found was merely criminals with guns, the scene would not be as impactful or interesting, nor be enough to throw the character into the story. It's just another day on the job. However, the dead bodies in the walls is something that is outside of Kate's world, and it's a unique way to represent the extreme lawless evil she will encounter. To summarize, an inciting incident set piece should be built on two contrasting elements that come from the two contrasting elements that create the concept of the film, which is built on the two contrasting value systems found in the philosophical conflict. Hopefully you can see what we're doing here, taking two abstract ideas, bringing them into the story world, and throwing them at odds and conflict. Now let's take a look at Sicario's midpoint to see this again. In Sicario, there's a moment where Kate is fed up with how the investigation is going and heads back to the bar with her friend. There, she meets Ted, who ends up hitting it off with her and heading back to her place. As they begin to hook up, she realizes that he's connected to the cartel and she nearly gets killed trying to escape. At first glance, this was a B-story love interest plot. She's off the clock, in her civilian clothes, blowing off some steam. And yet she's thrown into the plot again because this set piece is built on the philosophical elements of our concept. We have the idealism or rule of law element on one side, which is the hookup. Kate can clock out of her job, enter back into her normal world, and have a normal life. Versus the other side, the lawless element. The man she is hooking up with is an undercover assassin. Why does this work for Sicario? Because this set piece shows that Kate is still out of her element. She is still in a lawless land. She cannot simply clock out and go back to her private life. This is the land of wolves. Sicario's argument is strengthened through this set piece because the concept is being reinforced in a new and unique way. Concept elements can also be represented by characters and objects you wouldn't expect. A common misconception is that your protagonist must always be the element that represents their belief. But this isn't actually true. Take one of the most memorable set pieces in Sicario the climax. Alejandro has broken off from the rest of the group in order to kill the cartel boss and his family. Alejandro sticks out like a sore thumb in full SWAT gear when he approaches the family while they're eating dinner together. If you didn't know any better, you might assume this is a nice innocent family that's being attacked by a villain and this is used to Sicario's advantage. When you build the set piece formula, you have these two main elements. Element one, a family eating dinner together. And element two, an assassin in SWAT gear. But notice how the plot antagonist, the bad guy, is now representing civility. And it's someone who's supposedly the good guy here with the weapons and war gear. This visual contrast is compelling and is what creates such a strong scene. And this reversal here is intentional in this climax. This is the moment where we see Alejandro, the philosophical antagonist of the story, be the victor as he kills the cartel leader. But it was only through his lawlessness and pragmatism that he was able to win. And through this, the film visually visually shows us this philosophical conflict and blurs the line between who's the supposed good guy and who is the bad guy, making the final thematic argument of the film that it's not so easy to see who's who in the land of wolves. You will not survive here. You're not a wolf. And this is the land of wolves now. Your story's concept and set pieces are simply the bridge between the inner philosophical world and the outer plot world of your story. Philosophical conflict and plot are not separate, but should be completely unified. When trying to create unique and memorable set pieces in your screenplay, think about how you can externalize the philosophical viewpoints and combine them together. Not every combination will work, but this gives you a creative prompt to find concepts and scenes that are original and rooted in the most important part of your story. And if you're struggling to write your great screenplay, click the link below to get direct one-on-one -on -one help from Top Development. This video was written by Nehemiah Jordan, a member of the Top Development Story team. Thanks for watching.